today we're going to learn how to make what I call a vocabulary burrito. You're going to need a clean piece of new binder paper and your vocabulary list. Step one is to fold your paper in thirds vertically. Go a little bit past half and fold the other side a little bit past half. When you open it up, you will have three columns on each side. Using your vocabulary list, write your vocabulary in Spanish in column number one. We're going to go from top to bottom. I'm skipping lines because I'm only doing 10, literally the numbers one through 10, for this burrito, so the video is a little faster. I'm generally going to ask you to use about 20 words here, so you probably won't be able to skip lines like I'm doing on the video. After you've done column one all the way from top to bottom in Spanish, then write the English of each word in column two. So uno es one, dos es two, tres es three. You can still have your vocabulary list out at this time. When you're choosing words for column one, choose harder words, words that are harder to spell or words you can't remember. When you're done with those, put away your vocabulary list and fold back column one. This is going to make you actually think to create column three. You worked with all of the words once, and you're just going to go back. So we're going to go from English back to Spanish. The first column that has these answers should be folded back. You can open it up only um, to peek if you don't know how to spell one or if you don't know the word at all. And then when you finish this column, you want to open it up and double check your work. Really check the spelling here because column three is still going to be <clears throat> the basis for column on the back side. Fold it over. And we're going to go from Spanish back to English. So the backside paper, we're actually going to work from right to left. Notice again, we only have two columns showing, one with one language and a blank one with the other language. This is the second time we've written the words in English, so it should be a little bit easier. This might be a good time to put it away and come back another day or go the distance. Now we're gonna go from English back to Spanish. Oops, that's the wrong answer. Sometimes you're gonna make mistakes. And we're gonna go English, uh-oh, to Spanish, not to English again. And we're gonna go English, ugh, not to number two, but to number one. So focus, 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 and you'll get the right answer. Next, keep going. This is the third time you've written the words in Spanish. Hopefully it's come a little faster for you. Also, um, you know, you're having to check your brain every time. So if you're gonna have to write these words every time, put away that vocabulary list, fold over the last column that has the answers so you're not allowing yourself to cheat because the whole point of homework is not doing more work. Fold column four back. And you're gonna go one more time from Spanish back to English this time. The whole point of home homework isn't more work. The whole point that we give you homework is to force you to learn and practice a little bit more. So spend the time that you are doing your homework learning. And this is a great way to do it. As I said earlier, you can choose words that you have a hard time spelling, choose words you have a hard time recalling. And this is a great tool. You can do all six columns in one setting or create the first two. When you're done, you'll have all six columns. English three and Spanish in three. So you can either do it all in one setting or you can do it in parts. A few one day and then a few another day to double check yourself again.